time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. The film is, I think it's three and a half thousand VFX shots, which is a huge um, number for, uh, uh, for any film. Hear me and rejoice. It was a major sequence, so it's the part of the film where Ebony Moore comes down to try and uh, get the time stone from Doctor Strange. We have a, a capture lab here who, who collect data for us and do motion capture and all that sort of thing. And um, they went out to Greenwich Village and I think they pretty much photographed all of it. In terms of the actual set itself, they were acting on, either on the stage at Pinewood Atlanta, so that was mainly uh, blue screens. The brief was that it was war-torn and trees were on fire and so all the trees in uh, Atlanta had their leaves on them. So everything that's close up and burning, it's been replaced in CG, so yeah, it's, it's fairly immersive. Because um, we were on the show fairly early um, um, in the pre-production phase, so all of the designs for the suits were still really only in uh, a, a sort of two-dimensional form, so concept artists from Marvel had, had worked those up and um, part of our brief was to uh, try to realise them in, in CG and, and realise them in terms of motion as well, what, how they actually would move and work. So Iron Man suit was a big part of that. It's nanotech, and uh, and the way in which that evolves, that process was a good year, I would say, in in the making. Subsequently, then actually getting the look right, there's another year. So we're talking two two years of evolution from the first concept. Robert Downey Jr. had quite a bit of input into how that worked. So it has a, uh, a, a couple of cords that you pull and, it, and the, the suit tightens and then allows the, um, the nanotech to kind of spread out over it, which was, um, which was his idea. Spider-Man has got his own problems as a, as a CG character, or as a character, because he's, he's so bendy and he can, he can get into positions that a normal person couldn't, and I think quite often um, these the dislocations in his an anatomy that would occur if you got into that kind of position are, are quite often hidden artfully. The Iron Spider, so it's an iron suit. The the studio was less interested in whether iron behaved like metal or just kind of looked metallic. So he ends up with a kind of metallic-looking suit that's flexible. A lot of the effects are defined by the, the story and the storyboards, so we kind of honed down on what happened to bricks and uh, making little darts out of bricks that, that fly. We always try to look for reference, and he's an alien, so hard to find reference of him. But then you have a clear idea of what his character is going to be. He's old and quite distinguished, and he's a wizard. So we looked at distinguished-looking English actors, like Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, and took cues off there hair, what does the skin look like, and then try and infuse some of that uh, character and posturing into, into the character. He exhausts me. Bring me the stone. 